everyone so today is a really really nice day out it's supposedly supposed to be in the 60s today so which is why I'm bringing my sunscreen <laughs> um yeah so today I am going to go have dinner or not dinner lunch <laughs> with one of my co-workers and have some Starbucks and we're gonna go watch a movie so yeah it's, I'm really excited because you know, since it's a Monday, and like a lot of people usually go to work on Mondays, and there's an, like I don't really have anyone to hang out with during my weekends other than Sundays, but yeah, I'm really excited. Like, we started to talk a little bit more, and I'm really excited to see, you know, well, we're both like outside of work, because we've, this is actually our first time hanging outside, so. Yeah, I'm just really excited. You can learn. It's super cool. The feds basically okay, she does so. Yeah, not really. Okay, so completely forgot that. Are you recording? Aren't they just yeah, a bunch of dead heads? I'm like, what? I you were taking a picture. <laughs> no, okay. So, I learned that one. You can realize that. Okay. No, it's going. Buy anything that they're preaching. It's definitely going. So I completely forgot that. I was supposed to be recording earlier. So we're like basically halfway done with our day. Yeah. But yeah, we had some Starbucks and just hung cheddars. out. Cheddars. Yes, and cheddars. My first time, which is really good. And Springfield 11. Yeah, okay. So first time. Yeah, so it's my first time at Springfield 11. Yo, check this out. You may not be able to see it. I don't know if that would work. No. Okay. But basically, they're like for recliner chairs. When you order Jeff's pizza, and you get to we like deliver. we deliver with our family recipe. Wow. A rich tomato sauce, Let's go. premium mozzarella, choice pepperoni, I, and fresh mayo. I can get up. Okay. But the best thing only Jets delivers our signature <laughs> crunch. And you've got to respect the crunch. And don't forget one of our signature How sauce. How cool is that? So, yeah, I'm excited. We're watching Risen. So. I'm excited. Are you Me too. excited? I'm excited. Oh my gosh! Okay. I don't know if you're able to see me or not, but... <laughs> what the heck? I am lost. Oh my land No way, now I know where I am. Okay. Oh crap. Oh my land so I took a turn. I thought I knew I was supposed to go to. Um, I kind of figured if I go straight forward, it won't like I won't have to stray or nothing. But then uh, all of a sudden, it was just kind of like a dead end, and it took me onto the street, which I don't even know where I'm at. And I kind of just found a familiar or street that I'm familiar with. But oh my Lanta, what the heck? <laughs> I cannot believe I actually got lost again. I. Oh, oh my goodness, I cannot believe that. Okay. Is this. Okay. Oh my lands, I cannot believe I'm actually lost. <laughs> oh well. It's a new way, I guess. I'm going. Oh my god, Okay, well. Hey, I guess I'm going on an unexpected adventure. As usual, I don't know why I always do this. I always get lost. I always take the wrong turn, or I think that I found a turn or a way to get there, but then turns out that it's totally not the way that it's supposed to go. So I always have to find a new way, and then I get even more lost. I just Oh, I can't believe this actually happened to me again. Oh, dang. Dang. That kind of
kind of sucks. Hey guys, so I just came back. Um, yeah, that that movie. Um, we went to watch Risen, and it's supposed to be about like you know how, you know what happens after Jesus dies from or is crucified and. You know how he is risen and how he goes back to heaven or like to his heavenly home and whatnot. But it was really interesting. Um, my co worker Stephanie, um, we both came to the conclusion that it was just a very Hollywood based movie. It's it had really nothing to do with the scripture. It's just really about how um, it was just mostly about the Romans and what and how they were trying to find Jesus rather than just knowing what Jesus had done afterwards. Like really, like Jesus was barely in it. He probably all together he was in this film for like no more than 10 minutes and so it was we just kind of thought it was interesting to you know that they took a turn and made it about the Romans instead of about Jesus and so and also not only that but like personally I've noticed that um, I mean it's not like it not that like it matters but whenever I think of Jesus I think about like his beauty and just like how you can definitely tell that it's him when you know when he's in a crowd and I just felt like in this movie they just picked a random guy like just an ordinary random guy rather than a guy who was like who could have represented Jesus well I don't know that's just me but yeah um, I'm home now um, I there was a wreck a really really bad accident on um, on National and Sunshine if you saw that um, it, I know I mean I was barely able to record what happened or the scene <coughs> but it was pretty bad like oh my goodness like there was a lady laying on the ground and not laying but like she was like kind of sitting on the ground and oh my goodness it just it just kind of brought back a lot of memories from when I got in a wreck back in April and so oh it just scared me it really scared me but yeah, um, when I came home, I found, ah, I got this neat little packet, which I'm kind of hoping, okay, it's super cheesy, and I can not believe that I actually got this, and a lot of you won't believe that I actually got this either, but I ordered a shirt and I'm kind of hoping yep it is okay so <laughs> for those of you who don't know I am a Family Force 5 fanatic I love Family Force 5 I love them since high school and basically since I was 17 and I'm 23 years old so I loved them since I was 17 or 16 um, what really caught my attention was their song Love Addict and Share It With Me. <laughs> and I just, I don't know, I kind of like their vibe. And why is my, oh. oh. New messages received from Stephanie. Okay. So, <laughs> um, yeah, so I've been listening to them a lot and, um, for a while I kind of forgot about them to be honest I still I would still listen to their songs like their old songs but it was kind of like I just in a way kind of completely forgot 
but or that I didn't realize that they would still be together after this after so many years and I found out that they were performing at Winter Jam last year and I was so so excited so I saw them performing and then they performed again at uh, the Rock and Worship sh Road Show and I just uh, it I just kind of fell in love with them all over again um, they had a new album well it's not really new new but I guess it's like new to me it's freezingly new um, it came out in 2014 I believe and this album is just pure gold. It's called Time Stand Still. I highly recommend all of you guys buying it. It is my escape. It is the album that I listen to when I go to work and when I get out. It's my go-to album for when I'm feeling anxiety or if I'm feeling upset or anything. Um, it really really helps me first of all just be more comfortable and not care what anybody else think about me it really helps me kind of like raise my self-esteem up because whenever I hear any of the songs it makes me think of their performance and how even though they're super crazy and out there and how they don't really care what people think about them as long as everything that they're doing is for God, then why can't I do the same thing, you know? And so, I'm just, that really encourages me to be more like that. And it really helps me forget that I have anxiety. And it just, I just absolutely love it. There's a song that I, that really, really, really talks about that. Well, not talks about that, but like, it definitely for sure will help me get over or forget that I have anxiety and it's called one of them is dance like nobody's watching and it's basically like how you know like who cares like just dance around like who like just move around dance around do things that you would normally do by yourself in your room but do it out in public and just kind of like act as if nobody's watching you and then there's another song that I really 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 love it's I decided that's going to be my anthem and it's called this is my year it's basically talking about how this is going to be my year I'm going to make it as fun and as fun as possible and I'm just not going to make it, like, I'm just not going to let fear get a hold of me. That I'm just going to do all things memorable and I'm just going to, you know, just have fun. And just really not worry about anything. And for those of you who really, really knows me, knows that I worry a lot and I worry too much and sometimes I worry about nothing like literally I could just be sitting and all of a sudden I would be worried that my car is leaking when it really isn't like I just worry too much and I think too much and I overthink things and <coughs> I just give myself anxieties when there really shouldn't be any so it's it's a really it's a really good reminder song to just let go and let God to just let this be my year the year that I am not going to let that get a hold of me the year that I'm not going to let my anxiety get a hold of me the year that I am just not gonna let fear get a hold of me in general that I'm just going to no, let God take the wheel and let Him drive my or uh, drive my car, I guess, and just let Him do what He wants. And so, I got I ordered the shirt, which you can order online. I'll put down the link below. Oh my Lanta! 
So I got this because it, oh dang it, it's a really good shirt. It's, it goes with my skin color and I love mint. It looks amazing on me. But it's just like this neat little, this is my year t-shirt. Yeah. So, yeah, so I'm really excited to wear it. Um, yeah, it's kind of like a reminder along with the song that it's my year and I'm not going to let anything get a hold of me. And it has pizza, dude. Dude, if you want to win my heart, just send me a large pepperoni pizza. So, <coughs> yeah, um, I think I'm just gonna end my vlog here. Um, sorry, I really didn't do much. Well, I did do a lot actually. Um, I just didn't get the chance to record them all. Sorry. Um, I, I was just so caught up with Stephanie because we usually don't have the time to talk other than our 15 minute break and it's just it was just really neat like I was able to hear her testimony and hear like her background and just her past and it is amazing to see like what God has done for her and in her life and it was just I felt like I was able to connect with her more like on a deeper level and now I just feel like now I know who she was and who she is now and I felt like I don't know I felt like after today we kind of got closer together as friends and so it was really neat it was really neat being able to like know a little bit more about her and she was able to know a little bit more about myself and my past and what brought me to Springfield from Nevada so it was really neat so all right yeah I'm just gonna end it here um gotta edit this vlog I guess um and I also gotta clean up a little bit so yeah so thanks for watching sorry if it wasn't much but I promise the next time I do a vlog, I would actually record things. <laughs> Alright, bye guys.